For you Ninjago fans, yes, I also love Ninjago, especially the movie. I'm not so much into the series, but the movie was fantastic. And this is one of my favorite sets. I mean, there were a lot of sets that came out of the, the movie, but I love bad guys and I love volcanic layers and buildings. Probably the only other, there's a couple other temples and sets that I'd love to get, but budget was uh, tight. And so for this was originally a $50 set. So it was an easy one to get. I think I got it on, on sale, just real simple. And I am just, I, I've been displaying it for a couple years now. Um, this set came out back in um, December of 2017. Lasted over two years to January 2019. So it lasted a, a good while. Nice $50 set. And since its retirement, it's been slowly going up in value. Um, you know, new in box, it's almost getting to be uh, double what you originally paid because it's, as you can see, it's a pretty substantial set. So it's definitely going to go for $70 or more new in boxed. Used, you, you can probably still catch a quite a deal, but I will say it's probably not going to last long because there are three unique figures in this set that will continue to keep the price going up as those figures start to become value and um of course garmadon who the, is the namesake of the uh, let me see if i can figure out the, the lighting here the namesake of this here we go make it dark darn it come on garmadon um is a it's a it's a nice not a cheap figure to get it is in five different sets but he's a he's um a pretty fairly pricey and then steve it's a really cool figure here we go we'll take his uh he's got that great shaggy face there we go there's steve He's got kind of a frown on his face. I like how they just have a, a simple buckle right there. Boom. There we go. And then there's Steve. Just like that. And he's got his own little computer area, which I think is pretty rad. If you look back there, there is almost like a cappuccino or a coffee maker. While he, so he can be caffeinated while he's trying to figure out how to dominate the the world so there he is there's some nice little play features in here the cool part is the clamshell attackers there we go come right out right like that and they've got stud shooters right here so those are pretty cool nice little adding to the play feature be nice to make these massable there we go put them back here and it goes in there. There we go. It was really nice. The the yellow scaffo scaffolding. They've got the the blue at the base to really showcase the the water. And then uh, it did come with a, a shark. There we go. Down in there. And then of course moving in. Down there we've got Zane. I'll bring him up. He's in quite a few sets. I think he's in like five different sets. There we go. Pretty standard Zane. Take that off. There we go. He's, he's got the... Uh, there he is. Big smile, Zane. Come on, give me it to us. Give it to us. Give it to us. All right, there he is. Now he's in incognito. We'll set him off to the side. And then there's four, uh, four eyes in here was unique to the set and of course the general up here who's kind of leading the show very cool figure take his home off almost looks like Will Ferrell in a way 
He doesn't have a back face print. That's a pretty cool helmet right there. He goes up there and it's one of the key one of the key play features back here. General can boom get blown off. Damn, that goes flying. Woo! And you can put that right back up on there. Do that all over again. They've got a, a crane feature. There's another explosive feature here. This blows up. Oh, I didn't set it in right. Come on. Boom, that blows up. So there's a lot of really cool little play features built into this set. Very nice. There we go. We'll set that back up later. The other cool part we'll get into here is the getting into the jaws. Look at that, how cool that is. That's a cool effect. And then I also thought it was really neat. There's like an aquarium back there. All sorts of little Easter eggs placed for the weapons. Look at that. Going through there. So cool. And then I love how the the lava just flows. It's a nice, I think that was sticker piece if I remember right. And then of course, the top of the mountain. So I will be deconstructing this set soon. Here's how, it, let me uh, give you a quick look from the back. I've always had a displays front. It really doesn't have much of a back. Um, there's not much. Not much to that. You kind of see kind of the behind the scenes where you can uh, blow him up. This extra scaffolding to kind of make this all work. Otherwise, there's really not much to that. So just a fantastic, again, $50 set from the Ninjago movie. It's Garmadon's Volcanic Lair, set number 70631. This thing had 521 pieces, so that's great. So to, to get it under $50 for over 500 pieces with three unique figures and two also nice, you know, need to have it. I, I kind of wish they didn't include Zane, to be honest. Although, yeah, I have a couple Zanes now, so I was not a huge fan of getting yet another Zane, but... I was really happy to get Garmadon. Um, I do have a couple other Garmadon figures. There we go. If he wants to get his PJs. Let's see. I've got the tourist Garmadon. And the I'm going to bed Garmadon. So lots of fun in the Garmadon's Volcanic Layer. So thank you so much for watching. This is a little bit of a departure from the normal Star Wars Mecha Fighter Monday, which you can catch on Mondays. Smash a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We hope to see you on the next video.